Hi guys and welcome back. We know God ordered Jesus' steps, but He also ordered Judas' steps. Without Judas betraying Jesus, we wouldn't have salvation. Without Goliath coming against David, David would have never taken the throne. Without my father going to be with the Lord, something that I didn't like, I would have never stepped up to pastor the church. When things run out in your life, instead of complaining, being bitter, keep the right perspective. It had to run out so you can see the best, so you can step up to who you were created. Success is like really hard, but everybody can do it. God created you to be successful. God wants every last one of you to be successful. Every one of you. We have to make decisions along the way to get to get it. But you can do it. You just got to quit tripping. Quit asking God for little bitty stuff. You ever thought about asking God for something big? Why are you wasting his time? Oh, God, help me. Help me make my rent. For what? Why don't you ask God for a mortgage? If he's going to give you the money for a place to stay, if you keep asking for rent, he keeps giving you the rent. If you ask for a mortgage, he'll give you the mortgage. That's how it works, man. Rich people ain't that smart. I'm telling you. They just know some of the principles of success. You just got to learn them. That's all it is, man. You just got to just have to get there. It ain't that it's hard, but it's for everybody. The problem with success, the average person doesn't think it's for them. That's the only thing that's stopping you from being really successful. You become rich. You, the day you decide to become rich, the process starts immediately. If you never decide to be rich, there is no process that gets started. Now, you don't have to be rich to be happy. That's not what I'm saying. I needed money. I wanted to really be rich. I wanted to just see what it was like. And you don't have to be rich to be happy. M money, money is the root of all evil. You hear people saying stuff. Quit, don't stop, stop listening to people that don't have money. Uh, two things, my dream and my faith. Faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. You can never lose faith. That's the key. You have to believe in something that you can't see. You have to believe when you can't, when you don't see no way how. You have to buckle down and keep believing. God is always coming. Here's the deal. The moment you ask God for something, he boxes it up and he ships it to you. Here's the problem with the package. He never gives you the date that is going to arrive. It's going to come. He just don't tell you when. If he told you when, it would destroy the relationship that's required to have an abundant life, which is faith. If God told you you were going to be rich in August of 2021, do you know how crazy you would talk to people from now until then? Because, you know, on August 21, I'm going to be rich. But he don't tell you when the package is going to arrive. So here's the deal. He wants you to stay in faith. To receive the package because he only delivers to Faith Street. If you step off over here to I don't see how Boulevard, he don't ship there. If you get over here to I don't see how Circle, he does not ship there. He only sends the boxes to Faith Street. So when he sends it and you have moved off Faith Street, the package got to go back. It's just like UPS or the post office. If they send you a box and you ain't home, they take it back. That's how it works, man. Let me tell y'all something. Being successful is not a magic trick. You just have to learn the principles of success. I ain't got no degree. I got nothing like that to tell you about. I didn't finish school. I flunked out of school. I'm on my third marriage. Lost everything I've owned twice. Been homeless, lived in the car. I am telling you, your education ain't got nothing to do with it. Education ain't in the Bible. Emory is not in the Bible. It ain't in there. Harvard ain't in the Bible. Look, find it. In a, show me education in the Bible. No, man, it's your dreams and visions. A man without a dream or vision shall perish. That's what the Bible is built on. It's what God puts in your imagination for you to have. Everything God wants you to have, he puts it in your imagination. Albert Einstein said imagination is everything. It's to preview the life's coming attractions. 
everything you imagine is God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. And he puts it in your imagination so you can see what he got for you. So if you've been imagining that you're going to be rich one day, it's because God wants you to be rich. Now, when you going to ask him for it and are you going to wait for it to happen? Or are you going to lose faith? Here what Christians mess up at. Well, I guess it wasn't the Lord's will. Who are you? How do you know what God's will is? It all happens at an appointed time. But you have to stay in faith for the appointed time to happen for you. I've been wanting to be on TV since I was 10 years old. You know how old I was before I got on TV? 38. It took me 28 years to get on TV. But it happened at an appointed time. I just never gave up the faith. I kept going because I ain't know how to quit. Because I know if I quit, it cannot happen. But if you stay with it, like this dude's story right here, if you stay with it, you have no idea what can happen for you. But you got to stay with it, man. You can't quit because get hard. This dude that lost his legs, he's still, he still funky with it. You can't quit because you got your leg. What you tripping for? Your punk I mean, well, I'm sorry about that. You, you can't quit, man. You got to stay with it. It's somebody having it way harder than you, and they didn't give up. That's inspiration. This dude is inspiration, man. I look at a cat like this. I want, like, I bruised my heel bet on the between shows. I mean, I, I messed it up before. I really bruised it hard. It's so hurting right now. What I'm tripping for? The dude come tell me, "Hey, man, you want to go home? Go home. I got a bruised heel." <laughs> What I'm gonna go, I got a bruised heel. You're tripping, man. Get yourself together. God got a great life for you. I'm telling you, God got a plan for you that's so out of sight, it would trip you out. All you gotta do is ask him for it and wait on it and be willing to work. Faith without works is dead. That's all you got to do. You don't need no education. I flunked out of school. Look at me, Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates don't have a degree between the two of them. But they, done they got more degrees working for them than a thermometer. <laughs> you know how many people I got working for me that got degrees? Everybody I hire got a degree. Because I know I ain't that smart. But I got money for you. You smart, here go, how much you want? You told me I want $150,000 a year, here you go. Man, this Steve paid me $150,000 a year. Bro, you got what I don't have. I'm a, you gonna take that 150 and help me get this billion? I got 154 billion. How God give me this and He won't give it to you? I ain't a better Christian than you. Look at me, I've been up here cussing. I made mistakes. That's the type of Christian I am. You a better Christian than me? You should. You should have something to show for it. But God don't ask you for your perfection. He asks you for your consistency. There's none perfect, no, not one. So since ain't nobody perfect, who going to heaven? Because he got a heaven for us. So who going?